Hi, everybody. Welcome to Alkira Design Zone. My name is Ken. I'm Ms. Rahman, and we are both part of Alkira product management team. Yeah, so we're here to talk about multi-cloud networking as both of us have gone from traditional networking to seeing a tremendous growth in SD-WAN and then cloud networking. So we want this session to be interactive. So if you have any questions or feedbacks, feel free to reach out to us. Our Twitter handle is on the screen or you can reach out through Alkira um, if you have any questions or, or feedback. So today we want to discuss why there's a need for multi-cloud networking, introduce the Alkira Cloud Exchange Point or CXP, and then also discuss how Alkira can help your cloud migration and address your multi-cloud networking needs. So Misba, given that you have been with Alkira much longer than I have, um, and you have you know, worked with service providers for quite a bit in the past, and then transitioned to SD-WAN and then the cloud, tell us a little bit about the current state of uh, multi-cloud and why companies are, are moving to multi-cloud. Sure. Okay, so uh, first we are going to cover like what's driving the multi-cloud adoption. So from an enterprise perspective, if you look at it, they are looking for the best cloud provider that fits it for their application. Uh, for instance, if you talk about Microsoft Active Directory, chances are that they work better on the Azure. If you talk about server, uh, serverless like Lambda and all that, uh, AWS is much more advanced. So enterprise actually looking for the best in the breed solution for a given application. Secondly, uh, they don't want to lock themselves into a particular vendor. And this comes back from the networking days when you had big networking vendors and uh, enterprise were looking for a multi-vendor strategy. And that thought is actually getting into the multi-cloud uh, space also. The last piece is the risk management and compliance. It about, it's about disaster recovery. Customers are looking for multiple options in order to make their applications redundant. So any geographic failure for a particular provider, cloud provider, do not affect their applications. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, I think we're all human and we definitely have seen some uh, you know, mistakes and, and hiccups with certain cloud providers in the past. So it's always good to have uh, essentially another backup, another cloud for backup plan. Definitely. Now uh, let's talk about why Alkira and how it can help enterprises to embrace multiple cloud. So first of all, Alkira provides a single platform for different cloud providers. It abstracts the complexity inside each of the cloud providers and provide the same look and feel across all the different uh, cloud service providers. Secondly, it can complement the cloud native construct to, in order to meet the enterprise needs of the customers. It can leverage the cloud native construct to provide an enterprise grade multi-cloud network. Thirdly, we talk about standardizing your multi-cloud networks across different cloud providers and also uh, basically standardizing your security uh, architecture for on-prem and cloud. As you extend into the cloud, you have the same level of security as you are used to in the on-prem world. And lastly, from a business perspective, it has the lowest bar of entry. From a skill set perspective, from a cost perspective, and timing is critical in this day and age. So Alkira provides that agility to the enterprise to launch or embrace any cloud very quickly. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. You know, I myself, for example, have started utilizing you know, the cloud since about 2018. And even so, you know, I would not call myself an expert with GCP, and I would definitely need some help, right, when it comes to, to, to GCP. Um, yep. So now we talk about the Alkira Cloud Exchange Point. This is how we deliver that service. These Cloud Exchange Point are globally distributed. Uh, they are fully uh, connected in a full mesh fashion. They behave like a cloud. They give the flexibility from a networking perspective to the enterprise that they can build their network uh, the way the cloud is being built. Like for instance, you can have on-demand CXPs, they're horizontally scalable, and plus they provide end-to-end -end visibility and governance through our uh, point and click portal. So with that, uh, Ken, why don't you walk us through the topology and do a quick demo and, and show like how easy to build a multi-cloud network for an enterprise? Yeah, definitely. So uh, first I want to show the topology that um, that we're going to uh, work on today. Um, so, you know, after this, I'm going to show a live demonstration of using the Alkira portal to build a multi-cloud multi networking fabric. Um, and really the goal here is to show any-to-any -any connectivity uh, with ease of management and then, you know, ability to actually quickly do that at scale. So in this topology that we're going to build today for the demo, basically there are three 
um, branch sites, if you will. One of them is actually a data center. And then there are the cloud networks on the right hand side here. Um, in the middle, you will see that there are two Alcara cloud exchange points or CXPs. One is based on the East Coast and one is based on the West Coast. Um, so once you build out this topology where we call these branches basically on-prem connectors, and then the cloud networks that are connected to the Alcara CXPs cloud connectors. So once you build out the topology, by default, if you put them on the same segment, they will have you know, full mesh connectivity to each other. Cool, Ken. Uh, this topology looks great. So why don't we take our viewers to the demo? And uh, we talk about ease of use, time to market, and all that. Why don't I give you a challenge that uh, please create this multi-cloud, multi-region network in five minutes, and I'll start my timer now. <laughs> All right. Um, so, okay. So imagine if you're a cloud architect and your IT department has several, you know, uh, development VPCs and, and cloud networks that you have to bring to production. And then they're asking you to do this, you know, uh, very quickly and um, uh, very security. Isn't that the ask, you know, every day these days, right? So uh, so first, you know, this is the Alcura portal. And the first thing you will do is select the um, CXP regions that you would like to use. Uh, so if you see any regions that are not on this map, we can actually work with you to bring the CXP to that particular cloud region. So first, I would choose East and West, like we had uh, discussed on that topology there. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're basically going to build out those on-prem connectors on the left and then the cloud connectors on the right. So first thing I'll do is create the branch one connector. So give it a name. I'm going to call it branch one router one here and just give it a dummy IP address. And for our routing options, going to go ahead and choose BGP over IPsec. Um, and then next we'll have to choose a sizing, which is essentially a throughput that you would need for this uh, specific site. Um, and then choose a segment. So segment is basically exactly the same in traditional networking world. It's the BRF that you would want the site to be on. And then next you have to choose a group as well, which is optional. And the concept of a group is like a zone. So imagine if you assign um, one group to multiple sites, and then you would like, you know, basically all of these sites will have internet connectivity, then you can go ahead and just create a policy that allows the group to the internet, for example. So similar to zone-based policies in firewall, right, Ken? Yep, exactly. Uh, in this case, it's also used for scope. So you can, you know, basically apply a single policy to multiple sites. Cool. Okay, so next we're going to create the AWS connector on the right here. So there are two ways to allow us to provision that on your behalf. One is to create a, a row, um, a IAM row, and there's one that's already created previously for the demo, or you can provide us the API access ID and, and key. So I'm going to select the region there and go ahead and fetch the VPCs that we want to onboard to Alcara. And next we will, the portal will ask you, you know, basically a few parameters, sizing, segment, group, similar to what we did for the on-prem connector. And then you will have to decide how you want to bring that traffic to Alcara, right? Uh, so in this case, we're just going to make it easier instead of using custom prefixes, we're going to just use a default route. And then we'll go ahead and attach it. Buddy, you are running short on your uh, on the time for five minute challenge. Uh, well, so I guess we'll have to uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat here. So given that we're in a uh, very API and automation driven world today, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and use uh, uh, basically Terraform to build the rest of the sites. So, so there are four more sites, right, that I would have to uh, build. And that's uh, cheating, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely in a very automation, you know, driven world. So I got to leverage uh, all the tools that I, I, I that's available to me. That's good. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you the Terraform um, that we had configured previously. So here we create another segment, another group, and then basically the four other sites, which you know two of them are, are what we call IPsec connectors or branch sites, on-prem connectors. And then there are the, here are the configurations for the um, GCP and the Azure connector, okay? And so over here, all you have to do is do Terraform apply. And it's going to ask me to confirm. And I think uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So now if we go back to the portal and we just refresh, the screen here, we should be able to see all of the connectors being built. So, you know, very quickly here, um, we're able to build six sites essentially, and then them having full mesh with each other because, you know, I've uh, put them in, um, in the same group. Actually, they're uh, two different groups, but uh, by default, they will have full mesh connectivity, and then you can create policies later if you want to, you know, basically determine which sites uh, have connectivity to each other which ones shouldn't connect to another. So basically we got a multi-region, multi-cloud network connected with the branches basically. Yep, yep, exactly. And you know, we, we did uh, all of that hopefully within the five minutes that MISPA <laughs> time. Did, on, I'll, so. I'll give it to you. So I, I think uh, that's really all we want to show for today's session. So just kind of summarize things. We basically discussed why companies are moving to multi-cloud. Um, how Alkira can help you in your cloud journey and help you with uh, multi-cloud networking. And then we showed a very brief demo of how you can very quickly you know, configure and provision multiple sites within uh, Alkira. And that's really all we want to cover today. Thank you. Thank you.